Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be doing a reading on Chani from the K-pop boy group SF9. SF9. I Let's think that's started. how you say his name. Forgive me if I'm saying it. Chani or Shani. Okay, so the first card I pulled out is falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness, and the ending of challenges, exchanging gifts. Don't give up on people you love. Okay. Don't give up on people you love. Okay, I'm seeing a reunion and it's um, guided by angels. And maybe it was his group or with somebody in his mm -hmm. personal life. Yeah. Let's get a little clarification. Got hope. I see that Chani is somebody who's very hopeful. I feel like right now he has a lot of hope that his career is going to go somewhere. And he has a lot of strength to actually make it go somewhere. However, I do see he is trying to stand his ground for something. So I don't know what company he's from, but is his if his company I don't know if his company is a good company or a bad company, but I see whatever it is, he's standing his ground, trying to protect his rights and protect his career, protect himself in general. Yeah, because I'm saying from the first part I pulled out um, a union that is guided by angels, then he has spiritual sp strength, okay? Um, because he is guided by angels. Um, they're looking over him. They give him the strength to stand his ground, okay? And which gives him hope. So let's get a little more clarification. Yep, again, I, nine, nine of one, standing his ground, and then uh, uh, five of cups. I see disappointment. I do see him, him having some sadness around him and standing his ground. So I feel like whatever he's standing his ground in, he, it's very serious because with the um with the ace of cups, it lets me know that he is looking for new. He's looking for ideas and fresh ideas that's going to really um help him get out there and looking for like opportunities like he wants to be given opportunity and stuff with the start i see that's a renewal he's, he's ready to hit a renewal phase and have a lot of hope and again it represents hope yeah um so yes he's definitely having creativity uh emotional expression okay and um he he, he wants to spread the love okay he, he has been offered a opportunity um and he's full of emotions about it okay So, let's see what's, what more did we have on him. Let's see. We got, I pulled the uh, Five of Swords. I kind of see right now he is um, in the process of in a battle or a conflict with somebody. And I do see he's standing his ground against that. Like, he's like, no, you're not going to walk all over me or some, or nothing for no, re for no reason. And I kind of see with the Five of um, pen, um, Ones, I mean the Five of Swords, my bad. I kind of see that he really is being very assertive. I really see he's really like speaking up and using his voice. Like I really see that, and he's getting strength because with the star card, he is the the un the universe has his back. Okay, so he is definitely uh, guided. Okay, in this because um, and that's giving him the strength to stand up for what he believes in. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse is conflict over money. I see it's conflict over money. That's why I'm saying I'm seeing all this has to do with money, maybe in his career, maybe in his family life. I see his money and I see that the Empress and maybe a female is involved, somebody who sits at the top. And then judgment, I see I'm seeing he's ready for a renewal phase again. He's ready to really, you know, have a come back into the wor world, like come back into whatever he, he does for a living. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's conflict over money, okay? Yeah. And, 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 and it's causing the uh, foundation to be very shaky, okay? Mm -hmm. And then also I put the awareness in the waiting game. I see whatever he wants, he's going to have to wait for it. But I'm, I'm, I feel he's very aware of what's going on around him and um, why is why it's happening and stuff. But like I said, the waiting game, I feel like he's going to have to wait for what he wants. Maybe new opportunities. I feel like he's going to be very hopeful for it, but I feel like it's going to come with a wait time. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Yep. Planning, patience. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's going to come with a wait time. And he's, like, working hard on it, but it's going to come with a wait time. And I feel like he doesn't want to wait. I'm just going to be honest. He don't want to wait for all that. He don't want to have patience for what he wants. I feel like he just wants it to come faster. And I see with the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. I mean, the Eight of Swords. Oh, mm -hmm. I kind of see that he is really being assertive and fighting for what he wants. He's being yeah. bold. But, yeah, however, um, I do see there's some restriction going on around him. Like, I feel like, and I feel like it's over money. That's why I feel like all this is over money. And he's disappointed. I feel like his career may be at a standstill where he's not making as much money as he would like to. Okay. Let's see what else we have here for him. Okay, innovations. He's trying to find out, find new creative ways to be able to, um, to, to be able to make money. Mm -hmm. He's trying to figure out new and then creative we got ways. compassion, empathy, sympathetical, and kindness. I see he's somebody that really wants to give out a lot of kindness and receive it back. I feel like he really wants to really be seen in a good light. And, and he needs to let go the past, anything from his past, and so that he can give compassion. Because as you see, it's almost like this card is showing that he's holding his own self, his old self, letting the old die out, um, so that he can show compassion and to um, start a new, um, because a new birth. So the old had to kill out the old to start new. Mm -hmm. Discover your life purpose. Yeah, I kind of see that he is trying to figure out what he is meant to do and where what path he's going to take going down um, in his career. Like I said, what path he's going to take that's going to lead him to success. And, and he's willing to work hard for it. I really see that because he is a fighter and a go-getter. But I do see at the same time, it's like he, is, he do need to sit down and discover, okay, what are you wanting to do? And I pulled out the romance card again, and just like the, the first card we pulled out. It's showing um, romance, and it, again, you see that angel behind. The, the it's being still being um, divinely guided. Okay, it's still being guided by angels. Okay, because there's an inheritance that's waiting on him. So once he uh, clear out the old, he will gain the inherent er, inheritance that's that is rightfully his. Yep, a time to give rather than take and don't let don't let your past hold you back. Like I said, let, letting go of his past and a time to give to get what he wants. A rather time than to give, time. yep. And being I pulled out the gener the generosity card. Okay. He he it seems like he needs to give more than receiving. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is just like karma, okay? When you give, you receive, okay? You can't just expect to receive, receive, receive. So when you give, you do receive, and then he will receive his inheritance, okay? Mm -hmm. Because like I said, everything is divinely guided in his life for this new birth that he is waiting on. Like I said, I see with the fiber springs, I see he's feeling at odds with himself and stuff and with other people and stuff when it comes to the situation that he's in because he's not letting go of his past. Okay, and I have the world card again. Okay, he needs to be proud of himself. Okay, he has a brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment. Okay, he's going through some spiritual changes right now it's all spiritual okay because it's a lot of angels that's showing up in this reading okay that's going to give him strength okay so that he can come out to be new and and, and, re, and reborn okay mm -hmm. sometimes we all have to go through those changes and then the last two cards that I pulled for um, Chani from SF9, I see Prince of Winter and Princess of Autumn. I see that he will receive happy news in his career and stuff. And I do see that an unexpected or sudden change is going to come into his life. And he needs to be ready to receive it. But at the same time, I see that he is going to receive some sort of the happy news or a new promotion or something. Yes, because his, wish, his wishes are going to come true. Okay, we pulled the wishes come true card. It said, your dreams become reality. A magical time in your life. Good fortune. Faith is in the universe that all will be well. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, he's going through a, a, a spiritual change. It's, it's definitely spiritual and it's guided by angels for sure. 
Okay, so he's going to definitely be successful with this, but he just needs to take time to um, let the old part of him, which is part of the negative part, anything that's negative, any old past traumas, any um, any negative thoughts that he may have, he has to release that so that he can um, become new. Start with this birth birth card. He has, you know, judgment. I see um, the angels are looking down again okay the universe okay so yeah it's, it's definitely a spiritual uh probably a spiritual awakening that he's going through yes that's what i'm saying which is a good thing it's, it's, which is a good thing um for and, him and that's that's all we have for candy from the k-pop boy group sf9 and i see um Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. You can always request in the comments. Thank you, and have a great day. Thank you.